Hey, I'm Beth with 50 Plus Beauty and I'm excited that you're here with me today as I create this vampy red lipstick look. Yes, that's right. Valentine's Day is coming and some of us are going out for the evening, going out on the town. And what better way to make the night special than to have a whole new makeup look? And this is not something you would wear every day, but it is something a little special to add a little spice to your life. And if you're not a subscriber, and if you're interested in makeup and skincare as we get into our more grown-up years, shall we say, then I hope you'll subscribe. And when you click that little bell, that just sends you emails of my twice-weekly videos. And I hope you'll give this video a thumbs up too. Okay, I'm excited to show you this look, so let me take off this makeup and we'll get started. Okay, here we are up close and personal. And the first thing is, of course, sunblock. I do that every day, and it's the most important anti-aging thing you can do. And then I always like to add a primer, and I love this Smashbox Pore Minimizing Primer. I put it primarily in my T-zone, and then I spread it out to the sides of my face. And here it is. I just used about that much, not very much at all. And I think you're going to be able to tell how it kind of nulls out my pores in the middle of my face. I'll go ahead and put it on here, up here. Whoa, <laughs> see how it just sort of smooths everything out, makes everything look a little more matte. In this look, we want a nice matte looking face with not heavy eye makeup at all. Basically, the lips are the star of this. So that's the primer. Now we're going to go into a little foundation and I've really been enjoying this Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless. I really do feel like it evens out your skin tone, does not settle into fine lines and wrinkles and just gives you kind of a matte look but not too heavily matte, not dry and dusty, but just a little bit matte. And once I've dotted the foundation all over my face, I take my Sigma Kabuki brush and some of this Maybelline Master Fix, and it's a setting spray that is just wonderful. I'll give it a few spritzes there, and then I'll just go ahead and push that around my face. I brush it all over my face. And I love this Sigma brush as it really just smooths that foundation out nicely, doesn't tend to leave streaks. I bring it down a little bit on my neck because you do want your face and your neck to blend in. Then we'll go up here to the forehead. Make sure to get it near the eyebrows. Once in a while I'll realize I've got big spaces between my eyebrows and the rest of my foundation, which is not a good look. Now I take a little bit of the Smashbox Photo Finish Lid Primer. I've been using it quite a bit lately and I really, really like it. I'll just dab a little bit on each eyelid there. Then you just take it and smooth it all out. And as you can see, it gives you kind of a lighter look to your eyelid, which I really like, and your shadows do it here better. Next, we're going to do a little under eye concealer and I love this Tarte Shape Tape. I have a lot to cover up under there, so I think it really helps and it does not settle into fine lines and wrinkles. Really like it. A little bit around the nose, a little bit on the chin because I have kind of a divot there. Next, I'll be going in with this e.l.f. Flawless Concealer Brush, and I really like this one. And in just a few minutes, I'll show you some brushes that were sent to me from Real Techniques, and I love their brushes, so I was so excited to get them. And I'm going to basically be doing the rest of my face with those Real Techniques brushes, and I have been using them all week long and just love them. Plus, they are super, super reasonable in price. For the price of like one Sigma brush, you can get two sets of the Real Techniques brushes. Plus, they have great videos online to show you how to use them. They are phenomenal. Now, Real Techniques sent me two of their brush sets. The first is their Sculpt and Define set. I believe it's called Sculpt and Define. And the second is their Enhanced Eye Set. I love all of them. I've been using them all week long. And there they are in the packaging as they come in. But then as you can see here, each little set has its own little makeup brush holder. And I really like these. Now to set my under eye concealer, I'm going to be using this Real Techniques setting brush along with this Laura Mercier Secret Under Eye Brightening Powder. Take a look at that. It's just filled with powder there and it goes everywhere. That's a problem in a way with loose powders, but you just do the finest dusting of that powder underneath both eyes just sets it very beautifully. I'm going to go ahead and set the other little parts of my concealer. Dab on the end of the nose to get rid of that shine. Now I'm going to use a little of this Derma Blend Light on the inner corners of my eyes and just a little bit in the Mohs incision area, which is right there. And then I just dab that with my fingers. The heat of your fingers really does help set that in there. And actually now that I've done that, I'll go in and just dab it with the setting brush just to set it a little more. Next, I'm going to do my brows, and I've been using this Estee Lauder The Brow Multitasker in Blonde. Really, really like it. And it has that little triangular tip, which really delivers a lot of product. So we'll just go ahead and do it from the inner corner here. 
And it really is hard to find a good blonde, especially with us bleachy blondes. You brunettes are really lucky because there are a lot of different darker brow pencils that look just great on you, but not so much with the blondes. But I do like this one. This is a very natural color. There we go. And I'm tail challenged, so I'll just bring that little tail down a little bit right down there. Then I'll set it with some NYX Control Freak. Absolutely love this. I think it's about $5 and it lasts forever. Your brows will stay put all day long with this. Really nice. Okay, let's get into some shadow. And I've been using this Too Faced Natural Eyes palette. Absolutely love this palette. There it is. As you can tell, I used the heck out of it. And I'm going to go in with this top color here called Heaven with this Real Techniques shading brush. And this is an indispensable brush in terms of your eyeshadow because you need a shader for under your brow and also on your lids. And we're going to take that clear across the lid there because this is going to be kind of a no makeup, eye makeup look anyway. <laughs> I guess the lips will definitely be makeup, but the eyes should be very understated. Now I'll take a little bit of the second color here, which is called Silk Teddy. Love this color. It's just got a little bit of shimmer to it, just to give a little bit of interest to the eyes without being too overstated. Very nice and subtle. Next, I'm going to take the little crease brush that came with the kit and go into this Cashmere Bunny. That is one of my all-time favorite crease colors. Too Faced has this in several different of their palettes, and I love it, and I don't mind a bit because I tend to run out of this color, as you can tell. I just think it's a very great one. Then we're just going to do a little bit of a diagonal in the outer corner, kind of get the outer V, again with that Cashmere Bunny color. Do the other side. Then we're going to bring that in, a little diagonal. There we go. Now I'm going to take my Sephora Pro Shader 18 and dip into this little color called Espresso. And we're just going to run it along the outer third of that eyelid. Just a little bit of color there, a little bit of darkness, a little bit of drama, not much. Like that, then I'll do the other eye. Then we're going to take this little RT blending brush. RT, ha! Huh. <laughs> just blend it in just a little bit because we want it to be soft. Then we're going to use this Sephora Waterproof Eyeliner in brown, actually it's called Coco, in the upper waterline just under the lashes, just to thicken them up a little bit, make them look a little bit thicker. This is a really good eyeliner pencil for that. See how that just added the slightest bit of drama? We'll do the other side. Now let's get the bottom. Got a little black mark there, that's always good. Now we just pull that out just a little bit, a little bit of a wing there. Now we'll do the other side. There we go, and then we'll just pull it out just a little bit. So the eyes are done, I'll do my mascara off camera. Now the mascara is done and I use this CoverGirl Clump Crusher because I didn't want hugely dramatic lashes because the drama will be in the lips. Now next we're going to be doing a little bit of light contour and I'm using this Too Faced Cocoa Contour Palette. Just got it, love it. Here it is, has good little directions. I love that Too Faced gives us directions. Now they also included this wonderful little brush. Isn't this just a darling little palette? There we go. And I'm going into Medium Cocoa, just a little bit right under here. We'll do it on the other side. Then we're going to go in along the chin line just to chisel that chin, like they say, chisel to perfection, a little bit underneath the neck just to cast a shadow from your perfect chin. Then I'll go a little bit up in the hairline here. This is a nice natural color. I really do like this. Very, very natural. Next, I'm just going to go in with my hands and make sure there are no chocolate bars. Oh, forgot my nose. I'll have to do my nose too. And again, I'll just go in and use the little provided brush, just a little bit along the nose and on the front of the nose.
there we go. Next, we're going to go in with this Real Techniques fan brush, and we're going to use this pop of light color that does give a little bit of luminosity. The other one is matte, and we're just going to dust the top of the cheekbones right here, just in a little line on top of the cheekbone, there and on the other side. A little bit of lightness there. Next, we'll add a little on the top of the nose and a little on the top of the lip, since this is all about lips. A little bit right here in the middle of the face. Next, we want to go in for a very, very natural cheek. And here we go. This is the Chanel blush that I absolutely love. This is in the color Elegance. And as you can see, it's a very, very matte color and very, very skin-like, kind of a nice little peachy. Just a little bit there. And again, I'm using my Real Techniques brush, and I like the fact that it's angled and thick. Just a very natural, beautiful blush. Okay, now it's time to go in for the big event, the red lip, and we're going to be using this Physician's Formula, the Healthy Lip. It's a liquid lipstick, so once you put it on, it will stay fresh all day long on your lips. It's in the color Fight Free Reticles, so it's very red. And then we have this Maybelline lip pencil in Very Cherry, plus there's another lip pencil that I'll be using, which is really the secret to these dark colors, and this is the NYX Wonder Pencil, and it is in the color Medium, and it is skin tone. You'll hardly be able to see it, but what it does is when you line your lips with this, it keeps your dark lipsticks from bleeding into lip lines. So I'll just go around the outside of my lips. You can hardly see it. Looks almost invisible. I'll go down here, do the same thing there. Now we'll go in with the Maybelline lip liner in this wonderful little red color. Then we'll do the lower lip. And it looks like I need to go a little lower right here in the middle. Now I'm just going to kind of blot that, just a little bit. Now let's go in with our lip color, this Fight Free Reticles. And here it is, nice little doe foot applicator there. So there is step one of the lipstick. It's very, very bright. But the second step to make sure that you have a very clean, crisp lip line is to go back in again with your lip pencils. Again, the medium wonder pencil and the red. So that was a look at my vampy red lipstick look, and I really like it. And it's especially appropriate now that Valentine's Day is coming. It would be perfect for an evening out with your Valentine. And speaking of Valentines, I found the most darling little bracelets on an Etsy store called Dazzle Accents, which I absolutely love. And here it is, and it doesn't look like much here, but it is a fabulous little bracelet. Actually, my husband and I both have these bracelets, and I'll show you pictures below. Here we are out to dinner last night. Basically, this is a very thick little stainless steel chain, and it wears like iron. It will look exactly the same years from now. In fact, I already have a little ankle bracelet from Dazzle Accents, and I've been wearing it for the past five months, and I'm so happy because this next week we are going to the Bahamas, and so I've got my ankle bracelet already on. It's going to be great. But the thing I really like about these bracelets is, number one, they're very quality, very well made. There's the lobster claw clasp there. And actually, here's another bracelet from Dazzle Accents that I really like. Again, it's the Destruction Proof Stainless Steel, and it has this little leather tassel on it. I got both of these from Dazzle Accents. Absolutely love them. But the thing that makes this one so special for Valentine's Day is that you can buy yourself one and your honey one, and I think they're each about $18.50. And then there's a 50 plus beauty discount code below to get another 10% off. So they're very, very reasonable. But do you remember in junior high and high school when ID bracelets were all the rage and that having a boy's ID bracelet just meant so much to us? To me, this bracelet is so special because for less than $50, in fact, well under $50, you can buy both you and your honey a bracelet. But my husband has a lot of very expensive bracelets. I mean, very expensive. And he wears this one all the time. It is indestructible. He takes it in and out of the shower. I just think it's so wonderful that he and I now have the same bracelet. It just is something that's kind of meaningful to me. And if you'd like to learn more about this bracelet or this bracelet or an ankle bracelet or some of the necklaces they have on Dazzle Accents, then I hope you'll follow the link below and check it out.
And if you're not a subscriber and you're interested in making your second half your best half in body, mind, spirit, and red lips, then I hope you'll consider subscribing. You'll just get emails of my twice weekly videos. That's all subscribing does. And also, if you could give this video a thumbs up, I'd really appreciate it. Okay, I always like to leave you with a little thought for the day. I've been using these cards, The Language of Letting Go by Melody Beatty. Let's see what God wants us to think about for today. Come on, God. Here we go. Ooh, taking risks, taking risks. Maybe for you, that's a red lip. It was for me. Today, I will ask God to help me begin to take healthy risks. I will ask for assistance in letting go of my fear of failure and success. I will ask for help in fully living my life so that I can start experiencing all the wonderful parts of my journey. Oh, friends, I absolutely love this card and it is so true. In the first half, I think I played everything very, very safe. I didn't take a lot of risks. And looking back, I should have thrown caution to the wind just a little bit more because who knows where I could have ended up. Sometimes we need to take some risks, some healthy risks, just to enjoy life a little more and to see where life takes us. It's a matter of trusting in life, trusting in God, and letting go of our fear of failure and our fear of success. So friends, just for today, let's examine ways in which we can perhaps take a few more healthy risks to let go of our fears of failure or success because life is short. Let's value those days. Let's treasure those days. And let's take some healthy risks and start living our lives fully. Take care. See you next time.